Movie magic is undeniable. Movie making used to be limited to productions and major studios with giant budgets, but those days are gone. As technology improves, making and distributing your own movie is easier and more affordable than ever. Today, we're gonna check out some new movie tech that used to be only available to the pros. Until now, lights, camera, action! Today, we're checking out some camera drones that are quickly becoming the equipment of choice for aerial photography. And for good reason. The old way was to count on helicopter photography that is not only large, but it's really loud and very expensive. Remote control camera drones are now widely available to consumers. They can be pretty difficult to control, so I called in the pros, the drone dudes. Andrew, thanks for coming today. Nice to see you, Justin. You too, so what have we got? This is amazing. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. We've got our Novocopter, and we've got our earlier version of the Novocopter, which is our test build. All right, what about this guy? This looks amazing. Yeah, this is our main flagship aircraft that we fly. We run this on all our major productions. So we're flying here a red carbon fiber dragon. This is a really awesome gimbal that we're set up here with. It's actually called a Movi. And what it allows us to do is stabilize the camera while the copter's in flight. So on each one of these, you have different cameras. Is there a certain weight limit that each can support? Yeah, you'll notice the different size copters. And so basically, the copter is built around the camera and the camera gimbal. OK, this is awesome and all, but I really want to see them fly. So can we do that? Let's do it. All right. Novo speed. Yep, speed up. And here we go for launch. <laughs> Cool. All right, let's bring it back. If you're serious about capturing great aerial images, but you're just getting started like me, Phantom 2 Vision Plus may be perfect for you. It has a quadcopter, and it's got great stabilization, and has GPS, so it has constant awareness of where it is in space. You can shoot in super wide, medium, and narrow field of view. You can even monitor everything you're shooting right on an iPhone. Now, if you're just looking for an intro-level model but still want to shoot video and have remote monitoring capabilities, the Parrot AR Drone 2.0 is probably more your speed. It's a quadcopter as well with an integrated camera and can be flown using the app on your smartphone. You lay it out in an open area, press the takeoff button, and then you can control it using the motion of your phone. Oh, guys, that's way too bright. We have to take it on a little, please. Perfect. Now, lights are often overlooked, but they're so crucial to a good looking shot. Now, in the early days of cinema, lights were large and they needed a lot of power and they got really hot. But as technology has evolved, they've become smaller, brighter, and cooler to the touch while using much less power. And these hive lights are making waves in Hollywood by using plasma instead of traditional bulbs. It only uses 276 watts and it doesn't really create that much heat in the process. So, to put this all in perspective for you, this is a 5K globe and this is a hive. It's about the size of a Tic Tac. This might look like your standard DSLR camera, but this is the Canon 1DC, and that C stands for cinema, and this thing is a movie-making powerhouse. It shoots at 4K, which is the next-gen HD resolution. At about $10,000, this thing isn't exactly cheap, but putting it on a credit card to make your masterpiece isn't really out of the question. It's already being used to shoot mainstream blockbuster films fit for the big screen. And I think it looks pretty good. $10,000 is a lot of money, so for those of us who aren't quite there, even smartphones offer cool and high-tech stuff. Many built-in video cameras are pretty powerful, and they can shoot in 1080 HD. It's pretty impressive. Just make sure to hold it sideways. And if you're ready to wow your friends, how about the Poppy 3D? It's a pretty cool gadget that you can connect to your phone to shoot 3D video and photos. Movie tech is more accessible than ever before and it's improving every day. So, go make your cinematic dreams come true and share it with the world. We'll be right here watching.
for watching Hardwired. Make sure you're subscribed to AOL Originals for all new episodes and exclusive behind the scenes footage. Also, be sure to check out more of my Hardwired episodes here to see all of the wearable tech that I've tested so far. Enjoy!